Hey guys, Holly here. The video that I'm about to provide for you guys is all about how to determine your calories while you're taking a diet break. Uh, a lot of you have checked in and kind of said to me, oh, I've just kind of come across the notion of taking diet breaks during a diet, but I don't know how to determine what my calories should be. So check out this video. Hopefully you can learn something, apply the information that I have used uh, to help with your own diet breaks. Okay guys, so I'm a visual person and if I'm gonna do a math equation, I can't just talk about it, I've gotta write it. <laughs> so if you guys wanna work out how to calculate your maintenance calories, this is one method that you can do. Obviously we also use the Mueller equation uh, to help calculate uh, my maintenance calories, uh, but this is kind of just to help check to make sure that you are doing things correctly and that you're not giving yourself really high uh, calorie targets for your maintenance week and that could consequently undo all the hard work that you've done. So I just ran, this, uh, ran these numbers, compared it, and they're almost within, as Lane said, 10 calories of each other. So let's start off at the top. Uh, this is the total amount of weight that I actually lost over the three week period of dieting, okay? So I started at like 59.8 and I got down to 57.3. So 1.6 kilograms was my total weight loss. Now, we wanna put that into a gram amount because we know that we can attribute a caloric value to an amount of weight loss, but it's in grams, okay? So 1.6 kilos is also 1,600 grams. Timesing it by 5.9, now this is one of the equations that we uh, talk about and discuss in the Complete Contest Prep Guide and in Fat Loss Forever. If you wanna learn how we come to these kind of numbers, all that information is actually available in that book. So this is the amount of calories that we can denote to one gram of weight loss or weight gain, okay? So if we multiply 1600 by 5.9, it comes out to 9440 kilocalories. Now that is the total amount of calorie value uh, that it took for me to lose 1.6 kilos. I hope you're following. <laughs> now what we need to do is work out uh, what was the deficit per day? So I was dieting for a period of 21 days, in okay, case, three weeks, same thing. But now if we convert it to days, we can see what my daily calorie deficit is, okay? And there's a reason we're trying to work it towards a daily calorie deficit. We'll come to that in a second. For each of those days, um, I was down in a, in a deficit of 449.5 kilocalories. Um, my targets for the week were 1571, that's what I was actually consuming. I probably was a little here or a little out. If you've been following along on the weeks one to three um, fat loss series, you'll see that sometimes I was like 1% over, other times I was 1% under. But on the whole, or the average, I was working towards hitting this particular number for my calories, right? So in order to determine what my actual maintenance is for this particular weight, for my brand new body weight, all I need to do is add in this amount of calories that I was in a deficit, okay? Because that would bring me back to what my maintenance calories is. I hope you're following. This is where we come to my maintenance calories for the week. So this week I'm gonna be following 2020. Uh, obviously I'm gonna be keeping my protein at around 155 grams per day. My carbohydrates are gonna be sitting at about one, oh, I can't remember what they are actually, <laughs> I have to go and check. My carbohydrates are gonna be right around 200 and my daily fat intake is gonna be sitting at 67, and that brings me to around 2020, 2023. We're being really specific. So uh, that's how I have worked out what my maintenance calories are. Hopefully you can apply this information to your diet if you're trying to determine your maintenance between diet breaks. 